Hi everyone, so this is today's look. I have been loving No More Sad Songs by Lil Mix. I absolutely love Lil Mix. I think they're so empowering and they are just badass women and I love them. So I really love in No More Sad Songs all their makeup. It's all maroon and vampy style eye makeup. I just love it. So I was inspired by Perry's look. I will pop a picture here of the original look that I got from Instagram. And this is what I recreated in my own little twist. I love wearing maroons. Autumn like rustic shades. So I absolutely loved recreating this look. So this is actually a collab with Lauren. Lauren has done Jessie's makeup over on her channel. So make sure you check that out. I'll pop all the details to all of her channel and the link to my video down below. And remember to subscribe and say that I said. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've already moisturized my face. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Studio Secret. I love this product. It gives your skin such a smooth finish and really fills in your pores. Smooth out so nice this It can be a bit pricey, but I do feel it is worth it. So now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Matte foundation I love this and then along my t-zone where I need extra coverage I'm going to go in with this total coverage infallible matte version so the damp blending bed I'm just going to apply the total coverage onto my blending bed and then just put it do it this way because I need extra coverage off my t-zone especially my chin area for my breakouts and then on my forehead because I have really dark freckles I just like full coverage. And I'm gonna do the exact same method, just pop the infinable mat onto the bending bed and then just be followed. I find that when I do my foundation like this, I don't tend to need concealer. So I'm not going to bother with doing concealer anywhere else. I'm just going to go straight in with a light concealer and do my eye own highlight. And then go with my blending bed. Now I'm going to go with my collection powder, just to bake into my eyes and along my teeth. This is going to go all over my lovely nose back. Cook a boot. So I'm going to go in and brush off the powder. I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows and then I will be back. So I'm back, my brows are now done. So now I'm gonna go on to the eye makeup. So I'm using photo references from Adam Burrell, who I hope I'm saying that right. Burrell. Adam Burrell. And he is the one who done the little mixes of makeup for the video. He does them quite often as well. So I found some photos on his Instagram where we have this one of the girls with their eyes closed and then a photo of Perry up close so as you can see it's all real bright reds and maroons and she has silver on her lid this is the photo that we copied. so I'm going to be going in with my Morphe 35O palette it has a red that is very similar to the red that all the girls use in the video. And I'll be able to create my crease line with a light brown in this palette using this shade as well because I have heavy lines. So I'm going to be exaggerating my natural crease so you'll be able to see the eye makeup when I look for it. First of all, I'm going to go in with this pale shade all over the lid because I have 
foundation on my lid, I don't want the eyeshadows to stick. So I'm just going to use that all over my lid. Now I'm going to be going in with this light brown shade all over my crease. So recently, I say recently, I mean yesterday, I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I know, I am mega late to this program. They're on series 9. Um, but I found it on Netflix. I have seen it about this program. Um, I don't know Miss Fane and things like that. Um, through YouTube. And Instagram, but I've started watching. Oh my god, I'm addicted. I am addicted. I really want to be a drag queen. <laughs> I love how they do their makeup, and they are so sassy. Oh my god, the articles they have is just hilarious. So I'm going back in with the big brush that I used to go all over with the white shade. So yeah, I am absolutely loving RuPaul's Drag Race. It is hilarious. I'm going to show you what that is. Um, yeah, so, so Perry has a really sharp wing. So I'm going to put some washi tape at the side, just so I can look at the wing as well. Okay, so looking at the picture, it looks really simple, just a maroon all over the crease and blended upwards with a darker outer corner. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Cat Eyes palette and we're going to use the panther shade in the corner here. I'm just going to press that in. Take a moment right here. Oh my god. Feeling like a sound gear. Driving towards the sun. With the in blended Feel the wind in my hair. Going nowhere I swear. I'm really high with the eyeshadow because on the photo, Perry has really high eyeshadow. It's practically for her breath. So it's really smoked out, so I wanted to recreate that as well, but with my own twist. So looking at the photo again, I can see that she has, looks like a cream with a slight shimmer on the inner part of her lid. So I'm gonna mix it up a bit and go with a metallic MAC K-pop, the vintage selection. It's gorgeous. 
Scandal Eyes Mascara on the bottom lashes. So now we're going to go on to the face. We finished our eye makeup, so I'm going to start off by contouring. I'm going to be using my NYX contour palette. So Perry has got a sharp contour and is very bronzed. So I'm going to start off by using my NYX contour palette. I'm just going to go in and contour my face. Now I'm going to go in with my Elf Studio Bronzer. I just like to go over the contour so it kind of blends into the skin a bit better. It's not just for a streak of the face. Then to add even more glow, I'm going to go in with my Elf Studio Blusher in Peachy Keen. Oh, it's really shimmery. It has a really gorgeous, like, gold reflect on it. It's a really gorgeous blush. It looks like highlight. <laughs> so I'm going to use a bit of that and go under my brow bone as well. Now, because that blusher had gold within it, and we have the gold, rose gold sort of the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Nutcracker MAC palette and use the highlighter. I feel like I already have highlight on because of the elf <laughs> blusher. We always want. I'm gonna be like, boy, where are the you? No more sad songs. We want to be glowing. Now to finish off with the lips. In it she has like a pinky toned nude glossy lip. So I thought I would go in with my Well Lip Liner and my NYX Voltage Lipsticks. So I have two of these so I'm thinking I'm going to use one in the middle and then one on the outside. So I'm going to use this brown nude tone one. 13 on the outside and then in the center to make it look more pouty I'm going to use this pink toned nude in number 21. As well I'm just going to line my lips. I'm just going to go over on the sides with the darker nude. that glossy look I'm using satin lipstick 
So then I don't have to go and lock it to pick them. So now to finish the whole look, we're going to use Fix and Spray. This is my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix. So in conclusion, this is Perry's inspired makeup look from their new song, No More Sad Song. I see I love how it turned out. I think it's super pretty. And I'm a loving salmon lip. I'm normally a matte lip girl. I think it looks really pretty and it makes your lips look bigger. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Remember to click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and click down below and click subscribe to see notifications on my future content. See you next time.